Welcome to this year's Virtual Senior Award Ceremony. I am Father Mark Carr, Principal of Walsh Jesuit High School. Thank you for joining us from home to honor some of the accomplishments of Walsh Jesuit's Class of 2020. Senior Awards recognize and thank seniors for their contributions to Walsh Jesuit in the classroom, on the stage, court, and field, in service, and in their leadership. I'm confident that our students, and particularly the students distinguished here, will go on to do great things and help transform our world for the better. Thank you to the faculty and administrators who helped identify awardees and those who join us to celebrate their accomplishments. Good afternoon, Warrior Families. I'm Carl Ertl, the president, and on behalf of our entire school community, I welcome you to our special recognition. Our senior awards recognize students, seniors, for all that they have done during their course of this special year. Their contributions, whether it be on the field, in the classroom, in service work, and especially through the arts. I'm confident that our students, and particularly the students distinguished here tonight, will continue to do great things as they go on to transform the world and light it on fire as St. Ignatius challenged St. Francis Xavier to do. I'd like to especially thank all of our faculty, our administrators, the staff, everyone who has made these awards possible, all those who worked to create them and validate the students' great work. In Class of 2020, we are so proud of you, and each of you is special to us. And now as we begin these special recognitions, sit back and enjoy. And thank you for joining us. God bless you and go Warriors. As at other Jesuit high schools, our seniors began each of their four years at Walsh Jesuit with a mass of the Holy Spirit. Turning again to that same spirit, we open our hearts and ask God to strengthen and nourish us. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, send your spirit and blessing upon those gathered here this afternoon, upon the seniors, their parents, and families. In recognizing our seniors, may we recognize you. In their gifts, may we see your grace. In their excellence, may we see your glory. And in their ability, your creation. Pour your spirit into their hearts Help them to put all their gifts and talents at your service and direct their lives and future efforts evermore to your greater glory. Amen. We begin recognizing students whose accomplishments exemplify the second characteristic of the graduate at graduation, intellectual excellence. In addition to these recognitions today, National Honor Society members and those achieving first honors each of their eight semesters at Walsh Jesuit will be distinguished in the commencement program and receive special tassels or cords. College counseling will begin our academic recognitions. Hi class of 2020, it's Mr. McDermott here. On behalf of Ms. Bergio and Mrs. Case and the entire college guidance department, we are so excited for you all and just wanna congratulate you all on your graduation and all the amazing accomplishments you've had while you're here at Walsh Jesuit. Um, it's been really great to work with you all the last couple of years as when those transcript requests come in to see where you're applying and to see where you're headed next fall has just been a great, great joy for me. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be presenting a couple different awards. The first is our National Merit Scholars. So last year, approximately 1.6 million students in more than 22,000 high schools across the country entered the 2020 National Merit Scholarship Program by taking the preliminary SAT in the fall of 2018. Late last spring, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation identified approximately the top 50,000 students with the highest PSAT score. This past fall, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation then notified those students that they had qualified as either a semifinalist or a commended scholar. Those students fall into roughly the top 3% of all 11th grade test takers nationally. This year, our National Merit Commended Scholars were Allison Powers, Emma Pastrick, Lauren Lewis, Benjamin Stannard, and Christopher Wurst. Congratulations. 
In addition, this past fall, about 16,000 of the initial 50,000 high scorers were then notified that they had qualified as a semifinalist, which represents about the top 1% of all high school graduating seniors. To be named a finalist, each recipient then had to have a very high academic performance, be endorsed by Walsh Jesuit, and also recommended by their guidance counselor. This year's National Merit finalists are Leah Smith and George Zagrafakis. Congratulations to all of our scholars. The next award I'm going to be presenting is the Phi Beta Kappa Award. Five students at the College of William and Mary founded the Phi Beta Kappa Society in 1776 during the American Revolution. For more than two centuries, the society has braced the principles of freedom of inquiry and liberty of thought and expression. Phi Beta Kappa, which means the love of learning is the guide of life, is the motto of the society. These ideas, symbolized on Phi Beta Kappa's distinctive gold key, still lay the foundations of personal freedom, scientific inquiry, liberty of conscience, and creative endeavor. Since its inception in 1947, the Cleveland Association of Phi Beta Kappa has sought to recognize scholastic excellence by honoring one student from each high school who has been nominated by his or her school as being worthy of recognition for outstanding scholarship, academic initiative, and total achievement. The 2020 Phi Beta Kappa recipient is Emma Pasterick. Congratulations, Emma. Curricular awards are given by each department to honor students who distinguish themselves as experts in distinct subjects. Beginning with English, faculty representatives from each department will announce this year's curricular awards. For the past 16 years, I have had the tremendous privilege of presenting awards for the English department. This year, I'm going to present three different awards for students in my AP English language courses. First, one should know that the English language course is a great deal of work. I would imagine that the students wrote at least 20 different essays throughout this year. The three students that will receive awards are wonderful representatives for the entire class. It is very difficult each year to choose a limited number of recipients for the awards. And so these three uh, young ladies greatly, de uh, uh, greatly deserve the recognition and serve as wonderful representatives of all the hard work and efforts of the class. I will begin by giving, uh, announcing the awards for the English department and then a special recognition award. The two young ladies that will receive the award for the English department are Natalie Chase and Leah Smith. Both young ladies exhibit tremendous class participation and the ability to analyze and generate wonderful knowledge and examples for their evidence in their writing. Their writing was always at the top of the class and I greatly appreciate all the hard work and effort they've put into the class this year. Congratulations to Natalie Chase and Leah Smith for the English Department Award. My name is Julie Puckett and I have the distinct privilege of teaching AP Literature at Walsh Jesuit. Throughout the year, the AP Literature students shared creative insights, crafted analytical essays, created works of art, and researched societal issues. At the same time, they discussed the complexities of what it means to be humans, explored our relationships to nature, time, and those around us, and found joy in our learning. I found it difficult to select only a few students from this group to receive awards. To all of my students, thank you for your remarkable efforts this year. I would like to award Chris DeSabato the Subject Matter Award on behalf of the English Department. Chris is consistently meticulous in his writing, meticulous in his creative insights, his structure and organization, and even in his grammar. And his meticulousness translated to care for his work, which always met the highest of standards. In addition, his inquisitive nature fueled our class discussions as we enthusiastically debated the feelings and choices of fictional characters, in awe of how the best authors bring characters to life and give us an outlet to discuss our own choices and feelings. Chris, we celebrate your careful attention to detail and your curiosity. To paraphrase Mary Oliver, I can't wait to see what you do with your one wild and precious life. I would also like to award Abby Rizuko the Subject Matter Award on behalf of the English Department. 
One of the beautiful challenges of reading literature is determining how it is applicable to our lives. Abby had a special way of connecting everything we read and analyzed to a broader context, effortlessly seeing how art, in this case, the art of literature, imitates life. Not only could she make these connections during our class discussions, but she could also do this rather poetically in rushed in-class essays. I always eagerly anticipated reading Abby's final paragraphs, knowing that they would explore deep truths about our lives. Abby, we celebrate your thoughtful approach to learning and your love of literature. In the spirit of Billy Collins, thanks for always feeling the wall for the light switch as you water skied across the surface of all that we read. The two students who will be receiving awards for French are Julia Kolozinski and Christopher Wurst for going above and beyond in the classroom and for serving as French tutors in the Academic Resource Center. The two students who will be receiving the Spanish Curricular Awards are Joan Derco and Blythe Gaspar. They are excellent students in the classroom. They really, you know, try their best and push the boundaries with the language and just show a really great interest in their work. Felicidades a los dos. The two students who will be receiving Chinese Curricular Awards are Mariah Khan and Mason Ross for their excellent work and studies in the classroom. The student who will be receiving the Latin Curricular Award is Macarios McCune for his excellent work in the classroom. Ms. Osborne here to give the math awards. This year it was decided that the best looking person in each department should give the awards. So here I am. But first I wanted to check in and see how you're doing. I for one have been keeping pretty busy. Uh, today, for example, I ran the Roomba and watched that for an hour. Uh, then I noticed a squirrel outside and that took a good chunk of the day. Then I decided it was time for a trip to the kitchen where I uh, got a pen. And that brings me to now. So hope you're uh, keeping busy, hope you're staying safe. And now on to some awards. Now we usually start this by explaining what the award is, but I will take the easy way out. Alexa, what's mathematics? Mathematics includes the study of such topics as quantity, structure, space, and change. It has no generally accepted definition. Mathematicians seek and use patterns to formulate new conjectures. They resolve the truth or falsity of conjectures by mathematical proof. When mathematical structures are good models of real phenomena, mathematical reasoning can be used to provide insight or predictions about nature. So, math awards, right. As I said, the math department had some tough choices, but um, we were able to come up with the following awards. In Mr. Dowdell's calculus class, the award goes to Catherine Ramacone. Now, in AP Calculus AB, there were actually two awards. The first goes to Alyssa Toth. Uh, the next Calculus AB award goes to Mary Sveda. Now, the Calculus BC award, and that award goes to Emma Pastrick. Such great, great kids. Well, congratulations to all of our winner, all of our award winners. Oh, sorry, just caught me practicing. Uh, but I'm not here to practice. I'm here to talk about two wonderful students. Now, as a director, our job is very interesting. We practice with our performers before a performance. We rehearse and we make sure everything is as perfect as possible. And then we get to a performance, we wave our hands in front of our ensembles. We don't make music or make sound ourselves. And we hope and we pray that the music that we rehearsed in rehearsal is the music that the audience hears. Sometimes it happens and other times it doesn't. And with these two students, I never had to worry about the latter. I, was, I, was always, I would always know that th these students would be prepared and ready for our performances. These two students have been a part of our chamber choir, have been a part of our a cappella choir, they have been a part of our show choir, and have led um, in leadership positions and also solos in all of those groups. But where I could count on them the most was our liturgical choir, and they helped make sure our services were as beautiful as they could be. 
I could always count on them to canter or to help lead their classmates in music at our services. They made all these services as beautiful as possible and they were very, very professional and very, very excited to do that work. I'm very thankful to have both of them in class and to have them in part of our choirs here at Walsh Jesuit. So I'm very excited to announce the, the recipients of the Liturgical Music Award are Tessa Dorico and Brooke Smith. My name is David Banks, director of the Walsh Jesuit String Orchestra, to present the String Orchestra Senior Award. This musician started on cello, then moved over to violin and displayed tremendous poise, dedication, and leadership skills throughout her four years at Walsh Jesuit. She has been involved with not only our string orchestra, but also the Walsh Jesuit String Trio and our pit orchestra that performs for our musical productions. She can be seen performing with other orchestras off campus and has taken over our concertmaster chair this year. Our string orchestra's outstanding senior award goes to Natalie Chase. This next senior award is for our band program. We are going to honor a fine musician who has performed with our concert band and served as the clarinet section leader and band concertmaster. He also has been a fine actor and singer in both the Center Stage Theater Productions and the Harmony Gold Show Choir. To top off this fine year, he was our drum major for the Warrior Corps Marching Band. The band Outstanding Senior Award goes to Zachary Knopper. Our next senior award is for the Walsh Jesuit Jazz Ensemble. Our winning senior has been involved with the Jazz Ensemble for four years. He learned the various jazz styles quickly, developed his improvisational skills, and became a solid member of our rhythm section. He has worked very hard to perfect his music and also can be heard performing with the pit orchestra, string orchestra, and warrior corps marching band. Our Jazz Ensemble Outstanding Senior Award goes to Chris Sun. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Bisga. I'm coming to you tonight from the Vatican to present the Theology Subject Area Awards. We are so privileged at Walsh Jesuit to have so many amazing students who truly love to learn about their faith through their theology courses. But I racked my head and heart and thought of what two seniors um, are most deserving of this award. And I partnered with Mrs. Byrne, who me and her are the two theology teachers that teach every single student that goes through Balls Jesuit. And two came to the foreground. And I'm proud to present the award to them today. Mr. Mason Ross and Miss Noel, or my nickname, Paige Bentley. Congratulations to you both. The Chemistry Award goes to a student who has excelled in their studies of chemistry during their time at Walsh Jesuit. This year's recipient did incredibly well when taking honors chemistry in their sophomore year and continued to be very successful in taking AP Chemistry this year. Her problem solving skills are truly top notch and her hard work and dedication to her studies have not gone unnoticed. This year, the Chemistry Award goes to Alexa Schnell. Congratulations. This is Dan Vaughn from the Math and Physics Department, and I'm here to present the Physics Student of the Year Award, which goes to Grace Niemer. Now, it's no surprise that Grace is good at physics. She is the president of the math club. And what is physics but simply spicy math? Uh, over the course of the semester or the year, uh, Grace learned to use her professional judgment to decide how she should write a lab report. And this is mostly because her instructor didn't give her that great of instructions on how to do it. So she was forced to make her own decisions. So I, I, liked, I liked seeing her growth in that aspect over the school year. And finally, one thing I'll particularly remember is um, Grace cut her wrist or her hand in a Christmas accident and lost use of her writing hand for about two months. And during that time, she simply switched hands. Um, what I remember most is she never once asked for uh, a break or extra time or any kind of convenience. She simply just did the work. Um, I'm not saying I enjoyed reading her writing or her free body diagrams during these months, but I do appreciate that she just took care of business and did the work. So congratulations, Grace. Hi, 
This is Mrs. Truex. I'm here to announce the award for excellence in AP Biology. Um, this class is college level and it requires reading for content, analysis, synthesis, um, sound communication. Mary Sveda is a true student of learning. Mary works diligently her work is amazing. She performs at the highest on all exams. And she's always willing to share her thoughts and her knowledge with other students. Mary is kind and humble, and it is a great honor to recognize her for this award. It is a great honor to announce the award for excellence in AP Environmental Science to Grace Yupa. Grace's work is impeccable. Um, she performs at the top on all the exams. She's ready to delve into the lab work, prepared and helpful. It's amazing that Grace could keep up this level of achievement whilst being such an active member year round every week of our performing arts group. So congratulations, Grace, and it's well-deserved. Hi there, Mr. Norris. I am the AP American Government and Politics teacher, also a department chair, and I'm here in my basement ready to present to you the winners of the AP American Government and Politics Subject Awards. This award uh, specifies the fact that they are experts. They, well, that's a giveaway, there's two. Two award winners who are experts in the subject matter. Uh, first thing I'd like to say is I had a very fun time teaching the class this year. Uh, close to 60 students this year in three sections, which was so much fun. Uh, I really uh, wish we would have had the opportunity to finish out the year uh, in the classroom because that's the most fun is the interaction with the students. Uh, and, and, and really the, the best way for the subject matter to, to hit home. But one thing that stood out for these two students was the fact that not only were they masters in the subject matter, right? They got it, they did well, uh, they know the, the materials, the definitions, they can tell you all about filibusters and cloatures and, and everything else when it comes to checks and balances. Uh, but these two students were very much engaged throughout the entire year, were able to apply that knowledge very specific to themselves and it matters in the world that we live in to be able to, to have these kind of debates uh, these very, very difficult uh, questions that our, our, our leaders face in, in our government today, to be able to master that knowledge and then be able to apply it uh, is what stood out for these two young men. So I've given you enough hints. Joey Anderico and Braden Ost were the two young men who became the AP American Government and Politics Award winners. Congratulations, Joey and Braden. Uh, I missed the interactions with you guys. We, we had a lot of fun throughout the entire year. Uh, I do miss that time period, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy and, and hopeful that uh, hopefully there was a few good things we took away from the class this year and you're gonna be able to apply it uh, next year when you're off in college. So thank you and I'll, I'll see you when you come back to school as alums, just like me. Mr. Norris here, uh, ready to award a curricular subject matter award in what we're calling the elective award in the social studies department. So this is new this year. Uh, what we decided to do with all these social studies electives was to pull them all together and to take nominations, uh, have discussions, uh, go through the criteria of our students and select one individual who really stood head and shoulders above the rest when it came to mastery of that particular subject matter uh, and distinguishing themselves as just an all around very good Walsh Jesuit student. Uh, I did not teach this student this year in this elective, but I did teach her last year in United States history and I can vouch that she is a strong student. Mary Sfida uh, not only is an exceptionally talented young woman when it comes to her knowledge in the classroom in the class of psychology, uh, but she's a, a woman for others at the, the highest levels. One thing I miss about our current situation, 
is that interaction uh, in the school building. And countless times in the morning, uh, as I was walking with my cup of coffee down to the copier or into the dean's office or the principal's office, I'd run into Mary, either at her locker or going to the library to study uh, or even out in the commons talking to her friends. Um, and every time I saw Mary in that morning, it was always a good morning, Mr. Norris, and it was always a um, how are you doing and a smile on her face. Uh, and I know there's so many things we miss uh, as a community, as teachers, as students, as parents, uh, for not being uh, in the school. Uh, but that's one of the things I miss the most is that interaction, not just in the classroom, but just walking through the hallways and catching up with Mary and numerous students like her. Um, but we are here at a time now to say congratulations, Mary. You are uh, the Social Studies Award winner in the field of psychology. Uh, we wish you the best. We congratulate you. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you back at WJ uh, sometime here in the near future. Have a good one. Each year, each department also selects its best of the best and identifies one or two seniors who over the course of four years at Walsh Jesuit have gone, have gone above and beyond, who are always searching for more, who seek challenges, and even sometimes through their own inquiry challenge their teachers. The names of department award recipients are placed on a plaque it is located outside the principal's office. This year's department award winners are for English, Mary Sveta and Alexa Schnell. For social studies, Christian Lewandowski and Emma Pastrick. In science, Joey Onderko and Emma Pastrick. Our outstanding mathematician is Joey Onderko. Our theologians are Ben Dodds and Emma Pastrick. In foreign languages, we recognize Ava Moore and Emma Pastrick. Finally, for the performing arts, Grace Yupa, and for the visual arts, Brenna Prem. Congratulations to these models of intellectual excellence. Hello, everyone. My name is Sean Lynch, and I'm the Assistant Principal for Academics here at Walsh Jesuit. I have the privilege today of presenting the Mark Hosman Awards. Uh, the Mark Hosman Awards are awards named in honor of Walsh Jesuit's longest serving principal, Mr. Mark Hosman. If any of you know Mr. Hosman, you know that he's an individual who bleeds maroon and gold and who has given his heart and soul to Walsh Jesuit, but also that many of his most important contributions occurred apart from his official role as principal and were often unrecognized and flew under the radar. Similarly, each year during the senior awards, Mr. Hosman would take some time and recognize seniors or members of the senior class who played a large role in furthering the mission of the school, doing those small things that nobody really talked about, but really are the substance of what makes this place a special community. This award is not about grades or test scores. It's not about extracurricular accomplishments, and it's not about leadership roles. The winners are selected by the administrative team of the school and emulate the spirit of giving and the Jesuit hallmark of Kura personalis exhibited so well by Mr. Hosman during his years as the academic leader of Walsh Jesuit. This year's recipients of the Mark Hosman Award are Stanley Kazmar, Carter Verderico, Luke Travaglianti, Luke Osiak, Julia Rizzo, Emily Gerard, Ann Sweeney, Anna Mark, and Abby El Rashani. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Very well deserved. Back in April, faculty and students voted on the top 10 seniors of the senior class of 2020. The characteristics that exemplify an outstanding senior are those that are they are men and women for others as well as living out the grad at grad. These top 10 seniors names will be posted on a plaque hung in the hallway by the Rose Garden alongside many others before you. 
It is my honor and privilege to announce this year's senior class of 2020 top 10 seniors. Natalie Chase, Jack Dawson, Chris DeSabado, Trevor Haig, Grace Kolar, Grace Niemer, Emma Pasterick, Kylie Rico, Caden Smesco, and Sam Wilkham. Congratulations to you top 10 seniors. I am so proud of you. Go Warriors. Order in the court. Congratulations 2020 mock trial seniors. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. It was so incredibly inspiring to watch you guys flourish in the courtroom at districts with all of your hard work paying off from the year. I am so proud of you guys. I'm gonna miss you, Julia Tienza, Mia Latine, Grace Niemer, Colin Quinn, and Carly Tabone. You guys have inspired me so incredibly much. You are the best. Case closed. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Hossman, Athletic Director, and I will be presenting the Athletic Awards for the Class of 2020. This is a difficult process for the committee. We have close to 70% of our students participate in at least one sport and our seniors have incredi are incredible leaders. This year has been more difficult than others, of course, as the spring season has been canceled. Walsh Jesuit is looking forward to an incredible spring season with our teams and competing for state championships this spring and our seniors leading these teams. With all of that said, here are the athletic awards for the class of 2020. The first award is the John Payton Award. Former commissioner of the North Coast League, John Payton was, the ma was a man of tremendous courage and spirit. His love for high school athletics and his concern for high school athletes was apparent in everything he did. Always a man of humility and dignity. John Payton epitomized the spirit of high school athletics. The North Coast League created the John Payton Memorial Award one year after Mr. Payton's death to honor a high school student who has consistently demonstrated a strong faith commitment, a love of athletics, positive school spirit, good sportsmanship, and respect for players, officials, and fans. This year's recipient of the John Payton Award is Angela Vittantonio. The next award are our Senior Athletes of the Year. Each year, the athletic department selects a male and a female Senior Athlete of the Year to be eligible for consideration, a senior must have participated in two varsity sports their senior year and have a minimum GPA of 2.5. The Female Athlete of the Year is Katie Clark. The committee had a difficult time deciding the Male Athlete of the Year. Due to the fact the male athletes in consideration were unable to complete their winter season or even have a spring season. As a result, we have three co-male athletes of the year for the class of 2020. The male athletes of the year are Nicholas Reilman, Connor Bailey, and Adam Salick. The Ohio High School Athletic Association asks each member school to recognize one male and one female from their senior class as their top scholar athletes. The selections are made using the cumulative GPA after the first semester of their senior year and from those seniors who have earned at least four varsity letters. This year, Scholar Athletes recipients are Jack Dawson and Allison Powers. Next is the Archie Griffin Sportsmanship. As part of the ongoing effort to promote sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity, the Ohio High School Athletic Association asks each member school to recognize one male, one female senior class athlete to receive the Archie Griffin OHSAA Sportsmanship Award. Mr. Griffin, an Ohio native, is the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy for football. During his collegiate and professional career, Mr. Griffin also displayed exemplary sportsmanship. This year's recipients are Caden Smesco, and Riley Zana. The Ohio High School Athletic Association Courageous Student Award is presented to deserving seniors who have displayed courage while overcoming illness, injuries, or extraordinary situations. This student courageously battled cancer and won before she even began her freshman year. 
I had the pleasure of getting to know and love her in, men, in my anatomy class. This year's award, Courageous Award, goes to Megan Merrill. The next award is the OHSAA Award for Exemplary Display of Sportsmanship, Ethics, and Integrity. The National Federation of High Schools and the OHSAA gives an award to athletes who have exhibited exemplary sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity. These students have been positive role models for others and have encouraged others to be positive role models. The recipients of the Sportsmanship, Ethics, and Integrity Award goes to Amelia Figler, Mason Ross, Sam Wilkham, and Natalie Chase. Okay, the next award is the Frank Simodi Christian Athlete Award. Of, co of course, Mr. Simodi cannot be here today. He would normally present this award. He loves Walsh Jesuit, and he always looked forward to this time to present these awards at our banquet. Mr. Frank Simodi Christian Athlete Aw Athletic Award was established to honor Mr. Frank Simodi. Mr. Simodi sent three sons to Walsh Jesuit, and during their time they attended, they long and long after they graduated, was a tireless volunteer for the school and the Walsh Jesuit Booster Club, and he still organizes the football family mass each August. Mr. Simodi has, has always conducted his life in an exemplary Christian manner. The students receiving the Frank Simodi Christian Athlete Awards are Catherine Ramacone, Morgan Pence, Madeline Drace, Hannah Cuervo, Donovan Morris, Jamie Presbit, James McConaughey, Michael McConaughey, Michael McShannock, Nathan Colasanti, and Cameron Mays. The last award presented today for the athletics is the Grant Consum Award. The Athletic Booster Club presents the Grant Consum Award each year. Mr. Consman was our athletic director for over 30 years before his retirement in 2013. Under his leadership, Walsh Jesuit became one of the best athletic programs in the state of Ohio and is currently fourth in the number of state championships. I had the pleasure of not only working with Mr. Konzeman, but also become a good friend and learning a great deal from him. One thing I learned was his admiration of the athlete who showed up every day, worked hard, never made excuses, made a big impact in the team's success, but was never given the accolades they deserved. They flew under the radar, but did not care. Team was always first. This year's Booster Club Grant Consumman Award winners are Chris DiSabato, Sophie Malin, and Noel Bentley. Thanks everyone, and thanks seniors for all you've done for Walsh Jesuit, especially in the athletic department. We're looking forward to you guys coming back and rooting us on next year. Hello, my name is Tim Dunn and I'm presenting the Archbishop Oscar Romero Award. This year's award recognizes eight seniors who have embodied the spirit of Oscar Romero during their time at Walsh Jesuit. To be considered for this award, students are nominated by Walsh Jesuit faculty, administrators, and members of the campus ministry team. Selecting the awardees is an arduous process full of prayer, celebrating all that the students have done during their time at Walsh Jesuit. For some background on the award, it's helpful to understand why Oscar Romero was canonized in 2018 and how his life inspired others. So in Romero's youth, he would have been described as a bookworm, or some might even say a recluse, who would have preferred to be shut up in a library somewhere studying theology rather than being out on the front lines doing some service for other people. Fast forward several years, and he's appointed to be the Archbishop of El Salvador. Here, he's forced into relationships with people, and that forever changed his life, those exchanges did. He recognized the humanity and the tenderness of each person that he met. He realized that their suffering was unjust, and then he spent the remainder of his life working for justice in that community. Some of his most famous quotes and teachings include, let us not tire of preaching love, it is the force that will overcome the world. And aspire not to have more, but to be more. So when our students begin their journey at Walsh Jesuit, they're much like young Oscar, who had not yet been touched 
by tenderness and humanity of people. Many students get to experience God's love in, in a variety of ways at Walsh Jesuit during their time, but the eight seniors that we're recognizing didn't stop there. They never tired of preaching love, of serving others, of going on labra, of being a mature friend that others could count on, of standing up and taking responsibility for making Walsh Jesuit a community and a place to be proud of. They've aspired to be more, not because it would bring some sort of personal accolade to them or look good on a resume, but because that's what God has gifted them with the ability to do. These individuals have forever left an impact on our community without any hope of recognition. So by giving this award, it's our chance to say, your impact did not go unnoticed, and we are a better place because you went here. The eight seniors that we'd like to recognize as recipients of the Archbishop Oscar Ribeiro Award are, in alphabetical order, Delaney Davis, Grace Kolar, Michael McShannock, Braden Ost, Ali Powers, Maddie Robusto, Anthony Romanini, and Riley Zena. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for all that you are. Hello everyone, I'm Kanisha Crenshaw, the Vice President for Equity and Inclusion, and I'd like to present to you today the Diversity Leadership Award. This award goes to seniors who have either held an executive position in our diversity club or served as an ambassador for the Xavier Enrichment Program. These two seniors have consistently participated, attended all programs, and supported the diversity initiatives all four years. They have gone above and beyond the call of duty to not only give of their time, but help others to grow immensely. I'm exceptionally proud of Kalechi Okachuwu and Kaya Crenshaw. Congratulations. The Champion of Diversity Award goes to two seniors who have routinely supported the diversity program in their efforts and their ideas to help the program and department progress. I'd like to acknowledge Noelle Bentley and Donovan Morris for their contributions. Thank you. The Diversity Service Award is for a senior who has committed themselves all year to the outreach program that we have where we go and tutor students over at St. Anthony's at Padua in Akron. These students, despite the service hour accumulation, have decided to be a help um, and mentor these young people. I'd like to acknowledge Joseph DiCarlo and Anna Hahn for a job well done in their service all year. Thank you. Hi, Walsh Jesuit. This is Mrs. O'Driscoll bringing you the 2020 awards from the Academic Resource Center. In the Academic Resource Center, we work to challenge students and support them as they learn to maximize their individual potential. We offer academic help, organizational guidelines, time management development, and foster continuous growth of personal responsibility. This service is provided by myself, Father Stiles, fellow teachers, and peer tutors from the National Honor Society. This year, we have two recipients for the Peer Tutor Award from the National Honor Society. Both of these students gave tirelessly of efforts toward helping students in regular college prep classes, honors classes, as well as AP classes. Please join me in congratulating them as they win this award. Uh, the award goes to Yi Hong Soon, known as Chris, and Ife Ren. Join me in congratulating them. Thank you so much, Chris and Ife, for all your efforts in working with students this year. Next year, we wish you all the best as you study and pursue your collegiate goals at Boston College and Emory University. Good luck and best wishes to you. The next award I'd like to present is the St. Ignatius of Loyola Shining Star Award. St. Ignatius said that from among those who are merely students, in due time after hard work, they will depart to play significantly diverse roles. What they have learned about themselves through their good education in life and doctrine will be beneficial to many others. The recipient of the award this year is a shining star. Confidence for this student grew year after year 
and his good nature, personality, and kindness are infectious. I know he worked diligently becoming a stronger student while being a strong leader helping others along the way. I am very pleased to present the Ignatius Loyola Award to senior Stanley Kazmar. Congratulations, Stanley. I'm so very proud of you and all that you have accomplished. Heartfelt wishes go with you next year as you exchange your maroon and gold for red and white when you become a tiger at Wittenberg University. Good luck, Stanley. We wish you all the best. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you. Since 1925, the Akron chapter of the Knights of Columbus have presented the Manhood and Womanhood Awards to graduating high school seniors from Catholic high schools in recognition of each student's outstanding achievements, Christian attitudes, and beliefs. It is my pleasure to introduce Walsh Jesuits Womanhood and Manhood Award recipients for the class of 2020, Kaya Crenshaw and Mason Ross. Kaya can be counted on to get things done and help in any situation. Without being a rah-rah person, despite the fact that she is a cheerleader, students flock to Kaya. She is genuine and has a knack for making other people feel special when they are around her. She genuinely leads her life as a servant leader, setting an example of how to live as a woman for others. Smart, mature, and genuine, Kaya looks at things from a different perspective than most high school students. She does a great job thinking through and understanding the root causes of problems that exist. Kaya is a tremendous leader for the underclassmen as she leads by example. Mason Ross exhibits genuine care for others as is shown through his commitment to Walsh Jesuits' Labra ministry, which feeds the homeless on Monday nights year round. It's not just that Mason attends Labra, it's the way he interacts with our homeless brothers and sisters while he's there. Mason is the person who shows the underclassmen what it means to get out of your comfort zone. He leads all the time, holding a door, picking up trash, being interested in what others have to say. Mason is a stellar student, and as captain of the basketball team, he holds career and season records for three-point shooting, but you'd never know it because Mason is humble and deflects praise to others, even though he is more than deserving. Walsh Jesuit is blessed to have Mason and Kaya as part of our family. We are so proud of you. Congratulations. Hello again, everyone. Uh, I also have the special privilege of presenting one of the more prestigious of the senior awards, the William A. Walsh Christian Service Award. William Walsh was a longtime friend of the Walsh Jesuit community. He had a special affinity for the Jesuits and a great interest in their work of educating young men and young women. Now, that interest developed into a commitment to making Jesuit education in this area a reality. He selflessly worked to convince others to donate funds so that the construction of this building could occur. And he personally donated funds for the construction of the chapel in which I'm standing today. Throughout his life, Mr. Walsh remained a friend of the Walsh Jesuit community, always, being, always willing to give of his time and talent, and always willing to lend a hand when his services were needed. The William A. Walsh Christian Service Award is presented annually to one male and one female student who have given of their time, initiative, and energy in the service of others within the school community and the community at large. The names of each year's recipient hang on a plaque outside the Walsh Jesuit Chapel. Our two recipients are known for their great service to the Walsh Jesuit community. But like Mr. Walsh, and perhaps more importantly, they embody the spirit of that mantra of Mother Teresa. Do not worry about doing extraordinary things. Do small things with extraordinary love. I'm privileged to present the recipients of this year's William A. Walsh Christian Service Award to Jack Dawson and Emma Pastrick. Congratulations. The Jesuit Schools Network, JSN, promotes the educational ministry of the Society of Jesus 
among Jesuit secondary and pre-secondary schools in the United States and Canada. Each year, its 50 plus member Jesuit high schools present a JSN award. This award recognizes the graduate or graduates who most closely resemble the grad at grad ideal, a well-rounded person who is intellectually competent, open to growth, religious, loving, and committed to justice in generous service to the people of God. This is the highest award that Walsh Jesuit gives to its graduating senior class. This year, Walsh Jesuit will present two JSN awards. In alphabetical order, our first recipient is Natalie Chase. Natalie came to Walsh Jesuit from St. Basil the Great Parish and Brecksville Broadview Heights Middle School. Each year at Walsh Jesuit, she has excelled academically, consistently earning first honors and challenging herself with multiple academic placement courses. Natalie plays midfield on Walsh Jesuit's field hockey team and is a leader both on and off the field. When not working up a sweat flicking or scooping on the field, Natalie is likely to be found playing violin or cello, a lifelong passion of hers. While her commitment to violin involves many sacrifices, it also brings her tremendous joy and music to warm all of our ears. Modeling being a woman for and with others, Natalie has volunteered at Crossroads Hospice and Sagamore Hills since freshman year. On a more national and global scale, this past fall, Natalie was part of Walsh Jesuit's delegation to the annual Ignatian Family Teach-In in Washington, D.C. She is also committed to the Jesuit Refugee Service Club and helped run last year's simulation of the plight of migrants and refugees. She has been the go-to person for campus ministry programs. When volunteers are needed, Natalie would not only volunteer herself, but go and recruit other volunteers. This past September, Walsh Jesuit awarded Natalie the Kevin Neff Award. This scholarship recognizes a well-rounded senior who, in the face of challenge, exhibits character, effort, and development during their time at Walsh Jesuit. Natalie is mature. Her character and her commitment inspire those around her. This fall, having met the rigorous requirements for direct admission, Natalie will continue her studies in the Physician Assistant Studies Program at Marietta College. Congratulations, Natalie. Our second JSN Award recipient is Sam Wilcom. Prior to Walsh Jesuit, Sam attended Kenston Middle School in Chagrin Falls. There, he and his family also attend Holy Angels Parish. Sam, too, has excelled academically, consistently earning first honors each of his semesters at Walsh Jesuit and challenging himself with multiple advanced placement courses. Sam is a committed athlete, devoting himself to baseball and basketball. The latter he played all four years at Walsh Jesuit. When not on the court, he is integral to the team, keeping up its spirits, cheering on his teammates, and modeling great sportsmanship. Those qualities carry over into the hallways, classrooms, and stands in the dome and stadium here at school. This year, he was Walsh Jesuit's number one superfan, coordinating dress-up themes for games, catering hot cocoa to fans during crisp football games, and always ensuring a sizable group of fans, whether at a performance or a game. Sam's outgoing personality and ease at getting others to laugh, smile, and enjoy life made him an ideal member of WJ's ambassador program. Sam helped with Vacation Bible School for multiple summers at Holy Angels Parish. Last summer, he went on the immersion trip to the Kino Border Initiative in Nogales, New Mexico, and witnessed firsthand the plight of migrants. Sam has been involved with the JRS, LABRA, and with Natalie was selected to lead Kairos 133. Sam will continue his education next year 
at Ohio State University studying business. Congratulations, Sam. Thank you for watching the Senior Awards for Walsh Jesuits Class of 2020. The seniors honored here received awards based on specific qualifications or criteria, but it would be remiss of us not to acknowledge the entire senior class. In gratitude, let us recognize their hours of service to the poor, homeless, and marginalized, and the countless hours of service done here at school to promote Walsh Jesuit. Let us hold up their spiritual growth and maturation and take note of their academic achievements. On May 31st, the senior class will graduate. Our recognition, ceremony, and ritual it will be different from previous years. But the class of 2020 will graduate more open, more intellectual, more loving, more religious, more committed to doing justice. Let us close with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, we lift up to you the achievements and growth of the seniors recognized here and the entire senior class. Continue to bless them in their futures. Bestow your spirit upon them to guide them and to protect them. Help them to always practice the grad at grad qualities in thought, word, and deed, and grow ever more into these values, always for your greater glory. Amen.